For this video, I'm continuing off of the installing Active Directory on a virtual machine. So I installed it on on-prem VM2 here and had the domain controller. So now I want to uh, join this Windows 10 VM to the Active Directory domain that's in here. So let me just start it. And let me connect it. And the first thing you're going to do is uh, configure the DNS settings to point to the DNS server in the other VM. So that I could query for the domain name and resolve for that information. Alright, so I connected to Windows 10 VM. Um, so to, to do what I said earlier, we got to change the network settings to so open. Just right click down here. And just click change adapter options, or you could click Ethernet here and do that. But either way, it goes to here. Right click properties. I want to turn off IPv6. And then click IPv4, go to properties. And we want to point it to the DNS server that we set up before in the other video. So it's 169. I don't know why my num lock keeps turning off. I'm not touching. 169.254. You know, see it's a PIPA address, but um, I don't remember what that is fully. So I'm gonna go check it. So let's connect to that one. And just run uh, on command prompt IP config. So one six nine two five four two eighteen two forty two eighteen two forty. Two eighteen two forty. All right, there. So it's pointing to the DNS server, which is on the other virtual machine. And just keep clicking OK, close. And so now we should be able to resolve the domain name. So now let's change the domain name. Let's go to system. Uh, let's go to control panel. Change it to large icons. Go to for system. System. Advance in some settings. Computer name. Change. And here, you change it from a work group to domain. And I called it uh, tutorial.com. That's the domain name. Click OK. Uh, before I do it, actually, I need to. I want to change it on from VM one. I'll leave it like that. That's gonna need to restart, so I'll come back after restart, because the other one is called. The other one's called on from VM two. Whoops. I'll come back. So I just realized it's because I was uh, changing the settings for the demo VM, which is my Azure VM that I spun up to have the Hyper-V installed and not onto the on-premise one VM. So, so I'm gonna change that. So if you check out the details, it says DNS is successfully queried for the service location resource. And so I was able to find the domain controller for this domain, but, and, and look, it's pointing to it, but, 
scroll down, it says common causes error and it's registered in DNS are not connected network or not running. And that's because it's a, a PIPA. And this VM has a PIPA address too. So let's fix that. So I just did IP config and ping to see what's happening. And so it is VM1 on prem VM1, then it's VM2. So VM1 can ping VM2 and it doesn't lose any packets. But VM2 ping in VM1 doesn't work. It lost all the packets. So I'm in VM2 now, and I'm going to turn on network discovery. And maybe that'll make it work. Go to VM1. Let's see. Doing the same thing for VM1. Okay, so I went to VM2. I went to Ethernet. I did a change advanced sharing options. And I turned on for all of them. Saved it and then it it's now connected to Ethernet too. Which uh let's see now this should have a Oh never mind this is not never mind. Okay I looked it up and hopefully this works. So you go to your workstation, not the VMs that you created, but your workstation that you have Hyper-V on, and go to the, the switch that you created, and you check off, check Hyper-V extensible virtual switch. So it was off before, so I checked it. This provides network connectivity for virtual machines, and click OK. And let's see if this works. Okay, I went down a rabbit hole of different ways to fix it and I'm not figuring out how to do that right now. Uh, some of the changes were like, get rid of the other, uh, go to your NIC and make only the, the Hyper-V setting checked and uncheck the rest. Another was uh, go to your external switch that you created and uncheck the, the manage OS thing um, and a bunch of other little things to do like one was uh, run these two commands to uh, show your your ethernet and then like make that the persistent one and that didn't work either so anyway I tried a bunch but basically let's say it worked once you went to um, join the domain of the Windows 10 to it and all you have to do is when you log back it's gonna configure it's once you change that setting you're gonna have to re restart the VM and after you do that you're you're joined to it so then you type in your domain so it'll be tutorial.com and then you do slash administrator and then you can sign in to your VM and you'd be joined into the domain <laughs>